Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to install UniBlue Registry Booster. UniBlue Registry Booster is a Microsoft certified gold partner developed product which allows you to clean your registry extremely thoroughly and speed up the performance of your computer thus eliminating Windows 7 errors. As you can see here we have quite a bit of software installed. We have Microsoft Office 2010 beta, we have ZSNES which is a Super Nintendo emulator with Super Mario World in the background, we have America Online Instant Messenger, we have Google Chrome, we've got Google Earth, we have um, Everest, uh, Lavalis uh, program for benchmarking. We have Microsoft Security Essentials for Antivirus. We have Dropbox installed. We have Adobe Reader installed. And we have a whole uh, slew of software installed here. And what we're going to do is try to clean up this system and make it more responsive because it has become quite slow. And to do that, I'll show you exactly what we need to do. As you can see, we have so much software installed here, AOL, Instant Messenger, uh, the new Microsoft Office is installed, we've got Google Earth, and we can spin around the Google Earth world a little bit here, just uh, demonstration purposes. And as you see, yes, there it is, uh, yes, yes, yes. And what we want to talk about is the benefit of this software even though it does cost around $30, uh, 30 US dollars, it is actually quite worth it. And we've endorsed it on our website uh, for the primary reason that we have found it to be among the best registry booster commercially on the market today, the best registry repair software in existence. And we will now go through the phase of showing you how this software works and how to download it. We go to windows7forums.com and here we have a whole laundry list of notices that we have for new members. One of the notices tells you all about Registry Booster. And if you look closely, you'll see here, Yes, Windows 7 recommends UniBlue Registry Booster for a number of reasons. Firstly and foremost, it has been developed by a company which is a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner. UniBlue has been awarded 100 five-star industry awards for Registry Booster. And to download it, we simply click on Download Now. 100 five-star industry awards. We do not recommend crappy software to our members or to our visitors. So we click on Run in Internet Explorer after we go to the Instant Scan page. And you do actually get a free complimentary Instant Scan to determine how bad uh, your situation is. And we go on Run here. We click on our language of choice, which in this case is English. We accept the end user license agreement. We click on Next. and we're ready to launch Registry Booster. And as you can see, the computer's a little bit slow here, so launching it's gonna take a long time, even with solid state hard drives, two gigabytes of RAM, everything. And the scan begins immediately. You don't have to do anything. There's no clicking of buttons right away. As you see on the bottom left-hand corner, you are unregistered. And to register, you have to buy a copy of the software but you'll see right here uh, that we've already found 404 system related errors which are errors that affect all users on the computer four errors specific to your Windows account and one third party error now if we want to get rid of these errors the first thing we have to do is register the software to register the software we click on the register now button while we can't show you the product key for this registration you simply enter your product key and click on activate now. If you do not have a product key, you can simply obtain one by clicking on purchase online. Once this takes place and once the activation is successful, you will now be able to use the software to fix the registry errors on your computer. You simply click on OK, seeing that the registration was successful and go to fix errors. The fixing error process will take a long time because it is quite thorough much more thorough than most of the freeware applications that are out there. There's also a backup of the registry that takes place. And by the time this process is done, you'll have 408 or so errors that are cleared. And it will vary from computer to computer.
After speeding things up a bit, we see now that the registry has been completely cleaned of invalid entries. 408 registry entries have been repaired. And now we're going to go over some of the other options you have with Registry Booster, which are pretty incredible for the product. You can check your logs and see exactly what took place, what registry errors were repaired, and you can actually go deep into this and see where there were problems in the uh, registry. Invalid paths to different files, different pointers that were missing, invalid shortcuts, all sorts of things. And one other option which is excellent, which most registry boosters don't contain this option, is to actually defragment the registry. When you normally defragment your computer, your registry is not defragmented with it. However, Registry Booster will allow you to defragment the registry itself. What this does is push the registry to the start of the hard drive, the beginning of the hard drive, and what it will do is defragment the registry itself, which can become big and bulky and take up a, a, a large amount of space on your computer and slow down your computer. And once that registry is defragmented, you can restart the computer. You absolutely should. And when you do, you'll find that your computer now, after fixing 408 registry errors, and after performing a defragmentation of the registry, is much, much more reliable and faster. And we'll see that now as a proof of concept. And we're back. Registry Booster will now restart again. And here we see that we have had 408 errors that have been repaired. And we'll go over a couple of the other options real quick that you have now that you've repaired your registry. We see that we have a registry restore. We can always go back in time in case something happened. We want to restore those changes that were made. Uh, we can look at our history and see that we did do a registry scan today. And we can try scanning again to see what happens. Let's see how effective our initial registry scan was. We also have an indicator of our registry health, which is high. And we're scanning once again. This time it won't take too long. And congratulations, there were no registry errors that were found on the system whatsoever. Now you also have some other options with this software, which is what's so great about it. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at settings. You can set how the software behaves, whether it hangs around in the taskbar, whether it's poking around in front of your desktop, whatever way you like it. Um, there's many options that are available with UniBlue uh, Registry Booster. And the 2010 version has been specifically designed for Windows 7. That's what's so great about this software is that it really actually works. It works quite well and it's designed for Windows Vista and Windows 7 in mind. To obtain a copy of Registry Booster 2010, visit us at windows7forums.com. I can guarantee that you won't be disappointed.